Hi and welcome. In this video I will guide you through the first steps you need to take after purchasing your Touche or Touche SE to integrate your new controller into your music making setup. Together we'll learn how to register your Touche through the Expressive E website and download and install its companion app Lié. So the first thing you find when opening the box is a quick start guide which contains basic information about Touche's functionality. And in case of the classic Touche, there's also a browser with some more tech info. Both Touche SE and Touche come with a discount code for UVI Falcon, the powerful software synthesizer we use to build all of Touche's factory sounds. Finally, of course, there are the instruments themselves and you can take them out of the box just by grabbing the touch plate. It's held by a magnet and it's strong enough for that. Underneath, you'll find a branded USB cable to power your device and connect it to your computer. On top of that, if you've got the classic Touche, which features support for hardware synthesizers as well, you'll find two MIDI adapters on top and an anti-ground loop adapter. That's all. Now we'll need this quick start guide again because the browser contains our unique activation code. This code is required for registering a Touche through our website. Doing so will grant you access to all the software that you need to get the most out of your new controller. Now let's register your unit. Head to our website expressive.com and locate the avatar icon in the upper right hand corner of the page. It will lead you to the customer login page. Log into your existing Expressive E account or create a new one. Once you've logged into your account, open the product registration page. And this is where you will enter the activation code printed inside the quick start guide. Please type play numbers without spaces or other symbols in between and confirm the code. Should you receive a notification saying that your activation code has already been registered, please contact our support team by opening a ticket in the help section of our website. If all went smoothly, your device will now be listed under the section labeled My Downloads and Serials. On this same page, you'll also find a series of download links for all the content coming with your device. Find the current version of Lié below the header Lié and Factory Presets. Click on the download button that suits your operating system. After the download has finished, extract the zip file. We'll now install the Lié app along with all factory sounds in the UVI workstation on a PC. First, launch the exe installer file. Click Next, then please accept our license agreement. Here you can choose which components you want to install. We recommend leaving all boxes ticked. If you own a Touche SE and not a classic Touche though, you may deactivate the hardware presets since you won't be able to use them anyway. If you already have UVI Workstation installed on your PC, you may uncheck this box. However, you will still need the factory sound content for UVI to use our factory presets. Choose the destination folder for the as standalone application. Please note that the installation routine will always create a subfolder named Lié inside whichever folder you choose. Now select the folder where the DLL file, Lié's VST plugin, will be located. Choose the directory which you use for all of your other 64-bit VST plugins. And this ensures that your DAW will easily recognize Lié. While Lié is installing, the program will automatically launch the installation of UVI workstation as well. And this is the software synth upon which all of Touche's factory sounds are based. You could customize the folder where you want the UVI workstation VST file to be installed. Please note that if you change the default folder, you will have to manually tell the EA at a later point in time to search for UVI workstation in this custom folder. You only need the VST version of UVI in order to host it inside the EA, meaning you may deactivate the AAX and standalone options. After the installation of UVI workstation, the program will automatically begin to install PACE license support. This is the iLock License Manager coming with UVI Workstation. Don't worry, you don't need an actual iLock dongle to run Li Yi or UVI Workstation. If you're working with other software using the iLock system, you will probably have a new version of PACE already installed on your PC. You will see a message saying so. Just click OK, you won't need to change anything in this case. Click Finish and wait for the installation to complete. You could now run Lié, but if using it for the first time, it makes sense to connect your Touche to your computer first. After you've extracted the zip file, here's how to install the Lié app including all factory sounds and the UVI workstation on a Mac. Double-click the package file to mount Lié's content in Finder. A splash page will open. We assume that you don't have UVI workstation installed on your computer yet. 
So we'll need to begin with that, since it is the software synth upon which all of Touche's factory sounds are based. Double-click on EVI workstation package to launch the installer. Click continue twice and then agree to accept the license agreement. You may customize the install location for UVI workstation if needed and hit install. Once the installation is done, you'll see a message asking whether you want to move the installer to the trash. Click keep since we still need to install Lie itself. Back on the splash page, we launch the Lie package. Please kindly accept ExpressiveEase and user license agreement. Customize the install location for Lie if needed and hit install. The EA standalone version, its VST plugin version and all the factory sound content will now be installed on your Mac. Click close once the installation is finished. If you want to save some disk space, you could now click move to trash when asked whether you want to keep the Lie installer. That does it for registration and installation. But before you can begin to use Touche, you'll still need to update Touche's firmware and scan your VST plugins so that you can control them with Touche. Learn how to do that in our next video.